just actually putting on the last of our paint onto our palette. This is Winsor & Newton, uh, Winton, the titanium white. It's a very thick, nasty, you know, non-oily type of paint. It won't come out of the tube unless we really squeeze it, right? So, let's see. Got the last thing on here. Got a secure, where'd Bailey put my stuff? Here we go. Got this, got that. Oh, I hear my dog's trying to come upstairs. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, guys, let's see. All right, we're going to be zooming in one of the cameras. So whether it's YouTube or Facebook, one of the cameras is gonna be completely zoomed in. So just give me a minute to get set up. Don't leave yet, don't leave. Give me a minute. Hello. London's here, everyone. And awake. And awake. Jonathan Abley is here. Hello, sir. All right, let's see. Babe, what are we zooming in? Um, I've been zooming in YouTube a lot. So why don't we leave YouTube full screen? And we'll zoom in on Facebook as I stand up on my stage. Hello, everyone. Hello. It's Sunday. It's Easter. What? There's glitter in my old Dr. Pepper, which is kind of gross. Why is my old Dr. Pepper up here for so long? We're also going to be using Jasco Odorless Mineral Spirits, my Vanna White thing here. Or all those old ladies. Not there. Well, I mean, they're old now, but they didn't used to be old on uh, Price is Right. On those pretty ladies that would show you all the products. Hey, does this zoomed in enough, or would you like people to see the size of your eardrum? Yeah, is my is it zoomed into my brain right now? Can well, you yeah, see the, you can't see can anything. You see, <laughs> can you see the giant empty space where my brain would be through my ear hole? <clears throat> all right, let's see. Let me let me. Look. Do you want to pull up the computer? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at the size of that, guys. All right, hello from Iowa. Welcome, Cassie. Thank you for watching. Okay, let's do the thing. So, I want to show you guys, this is the first time I've ever gessoed a canvas, okay? So this is a very special episode. I normally need, I like to show you that you don't need to do anything to the canvas straight out of Michael's or Hobby Lobby. But today, and recently, I've had canvases that have been very thirsty. And then it soaks up the liquid white and it becomes harder to work with and it's just a pain in the butt. So I decided today that we're going to try to gesso the canvas. So I grabbed this from Michael's, just Artist Loft White Gesso. And I used a different brush. I don't want to use my good brushes to put this stuff on. So I just bought some little crappy, like, where'd my little things go? Here we go. <clears throat> I bought these for like five bucks. You know what I mean? And that way I could get them. If they got all gross, I could just throw them away. Right. And this one, actually, I washed it with water and uh, just right in the sink and kind of squoze it out and then dried it. And it's actually right back to how it was before. So, <clears throat> but I don't want to use my, my good, like, Bob Ross blending brushes to put on the gesso, right? <laughs> At least I, I don't want to do that. You guys can do that if you want, but. So this is the first time we'll be using the gesso and uh, it should help to make everything a lot smoother. I can already feel a difference from how the canvas would normally grip my glove. So it should be a cool thing. Now we're gonna put on our Bob Ross liquid white on a white canvas. You can use clear if you want or, you know, uh, linseed oil or something, which is also clear. Josh, hello. <laughs> but I like using the liquid white, and if you want to paint like Josh or paint with Josh and get the exact same result that I get, use the exact same stuff. That's what I did when I started painting with Bob Ross. I was like, babe, we need to get the Bob Ross paint and the stuff. What's up? Can I post your Facebook work in that new group? Uh, I don't think they'll accept it. Okay. Yeah, I've tried, I've tried sharing it into the group before, and they kick it back. Okay. So, yeah. Sorry, I just... <laughs> I I've wish... seen everybody, I interrupted his yeah. train of thought. It it's okay. It takes about six minutes to get back on the topic of yep. liquid right. I've already forgot about what we were saying. <laughs> Dead serious forgot about what we were saying already. We so. were talking about liquid white. How you have thirsty canvases. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so yeah, the gesso, we're going to start doing that more often. I can already tell just how smooth it feels, right? So... It's a few bucks. It didn't take very long. I thought it was going to take longer than it did. And I've always been saying how I don't have time to do it. I could literally, you could do it in the, in the five minutes before I turn the camera on. If I had that time, I did this one yesterday. So, but it was, it was dry enough to touch in like five, 10 minutes. So that's the cool thing about the gesso is it dries very quickly. The liquid white, you don't want to dry very quickly. If this stuff dries, then it, we're not going to be able to do our, our technique. It's not going to work. We're going to have a, hello, my goodness, what a catch. Caught it with the brush, live on camera. What on, 
Wow. I know. That really is perfect. It was a great catch. I just want to see. Look at how loose, though. I just want to see the replay. Yeah, right. Oh, in 10 seconds, yeah, when it actually oh, it happens beautiful. on screen. It was beautiful. <laughs> it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Apparently, I didn't tighten my easel down enough. So let's do that. So guys, rule number one of painting, please ensure your canvas is locked yeah. securely into whatever painting device you are using to hold True. your canvas. You don't want it moving around a lot. That's for sure. All right, I'm gonna finish off just making sure that it's nice and wet. It's got the same kind of sheen across the whole thing. It's not very thick in some places. It's not thin in some places. So you gotta kind of look and turn your head and find where your light's coming from and see if it's wet enough or if it's uniformly wet across the whole surface. Right? And I don't like ever, especially when I dip, I don't dip in a lot. I'm trying to get the least amount and then I drop a little, drop a little, drop a little. And that way it's not one giant, you know, place that I've got to work harder to blend out. <clears throat> Let's see. It's looking pretty good, babe, on our 16 by 20 canvas. Who's painting along with us today is the question. That is a good question. Uh, Gemma says no white lipstick today. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not going to fall and touch my lips. But I would rather I would rather catch it with my lips than have it hit my paint with Josh shirt. Nobody oh, wants to see that. That's true. Or the floor. Yeah. Or well, no. Floor. I, I could clean the floor. My paint with Josh shirt is precious. Oh, uh, I mean, it's you, precious. You, you could clean it, too. No, once the once okay. the paint goes on, it's ruined. Ah, that's why you haven't watched the, watched that shirt. You just <laughs> yeah, you, you, can you see the smell coming <laughs> off of the shirt? Yeah, like the little smell trail. Yeah, scent trail. All and right, let's wash in, the brush. And then in approximately eighty-two years, we'll sell that shirt for <laughs> nineteen billion dollars. I've thought about actually using the shirt as like you know I could like just wipe my hands like using it as a paper towel, and then it would all be covered in paint. Like the back is gives that effect and then I can actually cover it in real paint and just be all sloppy and nasty but it looks too nice to I've already got a little patch of white down here for some reason I think I just added more by touching it all right how many people we got watching what about guys there'll be a shirt released later on today it will be called the paper towel shirt it will look <laughs> a lot like the paint with Josh shirt but it uh at the very front and the bottom, it will say, use me like a paper towel. <laughs> and it will be available in the Paint With Josh short store <laughs> so that you can save on paper goods yes, by just using use your, your chest. Use your, yeah, it'd be like, it's it's the most expensive paper towel ever. Yes, but it, it's one time. Here we go. It's one time and you, you, never, you, you never need to buy more paper towels. True. True, true. I mean, didn't we just see a product like that from Shark Tank? Oh yeah, the uh, like reusable paper towel. Yeah, that's, that's the problem though. No one's ever. gonna, no one's gonna wash their paper towels. Like, I mean, maybe somebody would. I don't know. I'm not washing paper towels. I'll tell you that. You just throw them away. Get some new ones. All right, let's see. We're gonna do this beautiful sunset and then this kind of cloudscape. I've been thinking about this so. Gotta make sure our canvas isn't too wet or dry in certain places. It's actually not wet enough down here. There we go. The very bottom tried to sneak away from us. All right, so we're gonna come in. I'll leave the the thing right here, and that'll be a good view for the Facebook camera, right? If it's nice and zoomed in. Oh yeah. Oh, it's not even zoomed in as far as I thought. I thought That's it was. Fine. Yeah, I thought it was way more. Like on the the, the screen, it looks yeah, way it more zoomed in. Okay. Let's come in here, get a little bit of the yellow onto our brush. Not a lot, just a little. Uh, Chris Doucette says, can you tell Josh to make sure he has a proper sky today? He will know what I mean. Proper sky. I don't know what he mean. What do you mean, Chris? I do proper skies all the time. Yeah. What is a proper sky? Now you've now you made me nervous. No, all right. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. There we go. There we go. There's our proper sky. We'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Happy Easter, everyone. It's yellow like a chick. Yeah. It's lovely. <laughs> Put a beak on it. It's like a little peep. Yeah. Speaking of peeps, who likes peeps and who hates peeps? Because London know, hates peeps. Do you know if you take a peep and stick a straw in it and blow, your peep will explode? Ooh, that's cool. We're going to have to do that later. You could also put a peep in the microwave. That's the only time that I'm interested in peeps when I'm <laughs> When you're upsetting. destroying them? Yes. There uh, we go. Why not? I don't even know what we're doing. We're just dropping oh. on colors. So we have our yellow, our cadmium yellow, our bright red, our dark sienna, which is the lighter color browns, sap green for some reason, because I put that on there, <laughs> phthalo green, 
uh, Thalo Blue, Alizarin Crimson, and Midnight Black, and then Titanium White, obviously. You just replace the colors that were there prior. Yeah, I, you don't I love the these colors. I don't need any other colors. I don't need the Dark Sienna. I don't need the Indian Yellow. I don't need the, the Yellow Ochre. I can make those if I wanted to. I don't even need the Prussian Blue, because I can just add a little bit of black to the blue and make my own Prussian Blue, right? These are my... How many is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are my nine. Like if I released a paint line, it would be Josh's nine, right? Because that's all I need. And that's all you guys need. You don't you don't need every single color in the book. Babe, hey, yes, when love. you went to Michael's yesterday. Yes, love. Did you not type my phone number in? Yeah, I did. We typed in I typed in your, your new phone number and you said it wasn't there, so I typed in your old phone number and that one worked. And it brought it like it discounted like one item, I think. Yeah, but you have a you had a ten dollar voucher. Well, I don't know. You got to come to Michael's with me. You know I'm a oh dummy. My goodness. You know I'm oh a big dummy. Goodness. Good. <laughs> morning. Oh, Rod. Rod. Rod uh, I can't speak. Rod's here. He says happy Easter. Happy Easter. Bam. So you're just dumping on color in this weird. Let's just make a big flower out of this. Let's do that instead. That's a joke, guys. All right. All right, just dumping on these colors and then we'll kind of create something. We'll step back once we blend it out, see what it looks like, and then go, okay, let's do this or that or whatever. Now, I can wash this brush or because it has enough of the crimson on it, it's not going to go green when I touch it into my blue. It's going to go more of a purpley color. Okay, so we're going to bring it down like that. Come up there. Ooh, look at that. And the more blue you put on the, the can uh, your brush, the deeper, darker blue it's going to be. But then the more you work with it, the lighter it's going to turn because of all the liquid white that's on the canvas. So let's take that over there. A little bit over there. A little bit over here. Let's go the blue and the black. Why not? You're like, oh, no, black into the sky. All in the crimson, too. Everything. Ooh, look at that deep, dark, purpley bit. Oh, it's going to grow. Oh, look, it's grow. It's taking over our whole scene. It's fantastic. Brenda Boss says that she loves peeps. She loves peeps. I like peeps, too. They're not bad. They're horrible. No, oh, they're not bad. Jonathan Eadley says, I'll be doing another Black Sabbath album cover today. <laughs> We're going to do something. We're going to do so. You're just going to have to keep watching to find out what the plan is, right? Let's see. There is no plan, by the way. He yes. makes it sound like he's going to reveal his plan to you. He's well, not sort of. I have, I have one. Have a plan. I have one small idea. Oh. That we're going to work with. Oh, this is not a plan, babe. There we go. Thought. Yeah. Well, everything starts with a thought. Oh, very nice. Very nice. There we very go. Nice. That's all I need is one direction. Hey, babe. Why don't you tell people about what happened with the raffle? Oh, guys. Right. Okay. So uh, the the raffle, we're gonna we're gonna do it, even though the winner. I'm such a softy, guys, because the winner contacted me like on, what, Friday or Saturday? It was Saturday. No, it was Friday. Yeah. Whenever it was. She contacted me and she was like, oh, I just saw this email. I'm so happy. I'd like to choose this painting. And here's my address. Can you send it to me? And I could have been like, well, you didn't really respond in time. Um, you know, so you're, you know, you know, bad luck, really. Sorry. Like, it's, there's nothing we can do. You didn't respond in time. But I'm a big softy, so I was like, okay, you can have that, and then I'll offer a different painting. So, <clears throat> why don't we do this one back here, which is the other seascape painting, since the lady took the, the one with the big ring. So if you wanted the big ring, you know, we lost out on that, so. If you wanted the big ring, um, and that, that painting is no longer available, and that's why you entered with the money, um, then please go ahead and send me a DM. Yeah, if the only reason you entered is because you wanted that seascape with the big ring, then send one in a direct message, and we'll no. see what we can do about it. Yeah. We'll All right, let's out. wash this off. But we're going to offer another seascape. I'll show it to you real quick. Let's see. Let's see. Well, we could do that blue one back there, but... All right, let's do this. So we'll do this seascape. This will be in the raffle at the end of the show today. This is the one that was originally much different in the sky, and then I went back and changed it. It's very much the same as that ring uh, seascape, just with a little bit of different foreground. So this one is one of my favorites. So we'll offer this one in the raffle. 
Uh, then we'll have this guy. Let's put him back. We got this one for the raffle. Right? You could win this for as little as a dollar. Go to paintwithjosh.com and uh, buy your raffle tickets. They're going to go into the hat right over here. And at the end of the show today, someone is going to win one of these three paintings. Your choice. This is the last one that's available. This nice blue kind of winter to spring kind of painting. Beautiful thing. We're adding 15 new entries already this morning. <clears throat> already we got new entries this morning. So if you want to win one of those three paintings, go to paintwithjosh.com. Get your uh, raffle tickets and, you know, your name's going to be entered into a hat and the winner's going to be drawn out. Simple as that. So at the end, at the end of the show, <clears throat> at the end of the show. So stick around. Winner must be present, by the way. Today. You must be watching. watching today and forever henceforth. The winner must be present. Otherwise, I'll just draw a new name after a set amount of time. And that way we get one that someone's actually here and watching, right? Someone really wants it. They came, they tuned in, and uh, and wanted to get it. So, yeah, winner no. must be present. None of this enter and then stay at home, don't tune in. Yeah, right. Just receive picture by mail. And, and if you forget, that's on you. Yeah. Like, set an alarm. Set a reminder. Yeah. If you join the, you know, if you, if you like, click going on the, on the event link, it will send you a reminder when the show starts anyway. So, yeah. there is no excuse. All right, we're taking our... Clean, just, dry brush. I'm sorry, can you just flash the inside of the hat real quick? Oh, it, it looks pitiful, I have, but it's only because there's, there's, they're so small. Look, all of these little names, they're so little teeny tiny pieces of paper. Oh, there's more. All of these, all with different initials on them for the people that purchase them. So, hmm. whoop, get that one off, bam, see? Yeah. Your name is going to go right into the hat, and at the end of the show, we're going to put it up on top of my head like this, and I'm going to draw blindly. Just show it to the camera and, uh, so that people can see their initials on some of the pieces of paper. Oh, look. So, where are we at? We got GG, we got RH, we got JH, we got MR, GG, uh, RH. Let's see, what's this one? You must have come across a couple of RH stars. Yeah, RH star <laughs> right there. Uh, whoop, that one, whoop, catch it. There we go, I got it. This one says glam? Yep, okay. Gina Lamb. <laughs> oh, Gina Lamb, okay. Because you had a GL for someone else in there. Right. There's AB for Annette Babcock, I know she's in the drawing. Tony uh, e EL, Tanya Rodriguez is there, JK for John Krasniak, CM. There's lots and lots and lots and lots of little names in there. Just joking, <clears throat> Richard Burton. Just about to throw your entry into the hat. Thank oh. you very much for entering. This Richard a, entered. This is a pound. He paid a pound. He paid a pound? Paid That's a pound. awesome. That is awesome. All right, see, so we're going into our lighter area, and then I'm kind of lightly grabbing some of the dark and pulling it in, taking some of the yellow and pulling it out, and that's how we're going to blend our sky together, right? Oops. Yeah. Oh. To the hat. Adding to the hat one pound from Richard B. There we go. It is in there. All right. <laughs> Nobody needs new raffle tickets. If you're already entered and you paid last week or the week before, you're in that hat. So you don't need new tickets. But if you want, if, if you you're not feeling lucky your enough, odds of yeah. winning, there then you that's go. Different. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. We're gonna come up. We're gonna go into the blue. We're gonna pull it down. This is why we put that crimson um, barrier between the yellow and red. Look at that sky. Hey, but just for reference, you do not need to buy raffle tickets to do anything. It's free to sit here and watch. Oh, yeah, this. no, yeah. You do not need to buy the raffle tickets. The <clears throat> raffle tickets are purely an optional thing. Please do not think that you have to. Right. It's not a requirement to buy the tickets, but if you want to win and you want your name in the hat, you have to buy the tickets, of course. It's, it's not a free thing. Another five tickets purchased. Excellent. You guys are killing it, man. You're killing it. Wow, what do you guys think about that sky? It's very stretched out. It's kind of cool. Lemon's pulling more paper out of the printer. I am. This is, I'm gonna make I more names. I love this bit. There we go. All right. What do you guys think? Call it done. It's really what the, the because we have the sorry the entry fee is for the entry fee. The painting is free. 
the dollar goes to me cutting up the tiny pieces of paper and writing everyone's yeah. initials on them. The dollar goes to buying more paper <laughs> from Staples or wherever. And I get 35 cents an hour for doing the yeah. entry of the papers. Yeah, we have to cover London's um, uh, salary. Cutting. cutting. That's all we're doing. We have to cover London's cutting salary. Cutting. Cutting that's, writing. that's how little we make on the show. London makes 35 cents. <laughs> Susan, I got entries. I'm just doing them right now. Susan's got entries in, guys. We've got seascapes, landscapes, and landscapes. <laughs> oh man. That's uh, while well, you're painting that beautiful sky. Why don't we uh, why don't we ask some people? Ask we the people. We seem to have a lot of people in here, right? Now. How many are in there? It doesn't matter, babe. It just doesn't tell matter. me. It doesn't matter, babe. Just three hundred? No, babe. A hundred? Fifty's in the hat, babe. A hundred? How many? Just tell That's me. Five for Susan. Five for Susan B. Anthony. All right. <laughs> no, Susan. not Susan. Oh, no, not Susan B. Anthony. That would be cool if she was watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's stop messing out. Tell me how many people are, in, are watching the show, or I'm not name, gonna. Her name's not Susan. Oh, there's only. Like... That's not a lot. That's a lot. I remember the days where you'd go online and it was me watching on the staircase. Does it say 12? That's not a lot. No, it says 57 on Facebook. Where? Right here. Oh, know. that looks like 12. From you... my, my, I need to get my eyes checked, guys. Yeah, All right. Yeah. So, yeah, join the raffle. Share this video so your friends can see it and they can come and join the raffle. And uh, you might win a painting for as little as a dollar, really. It is awesome. Okay, let's stop messing about. I really want to do something pretty in the sky. That's why I left all this bright color up here. So we could try to do an Easter type, maybe crucifixion, but like a, a, a cloudscape crucifixion almost. So we're going to see if we can get it done and have it look right. And if not, then we'll just cover it over one big giant cloud. So that's what we like to do at Penguin Josh. We, we, we literally step back, we look and we go, okay, this one would that was like that or this was like this and you step back and you try different stuff all right let's make this very light gray color very light light it's almost like a lavendery purpley gray because i want it to be very light when we go when, when once it starts mixing with all this it's going to go even lighter so we can't put just straight white up there otherwise we'll have no depth to our scene right we're going to highlight with white let's see now, I want to do, let's get the brush out, because this has got to look good. So let's just not do the knife. Hey, John Krasniak is here. He was, John. He was being held ransom by the Easter Bunny. John, yeah, see, I figured people would be doing their, their Easter deal. What'd you get for Easter, babe? I got a cool, like, Cadbury egg. Yeah. Yeah, because my wife's British, so. Yes. Yeah, so I, I, get, I get cool chocolates. Chocolate. Yeah. All right, let's, so let's see. We'll take this, this lighter gray color. And we'll do a little dance in front of the camera. I don't know. Maybe we'll go up here and see if we can't do at least like one good cross up in the sky as like a cloud, right? So maybe we go like this because it is a cloud. RH star for more entries. Right. Michelle we Rose, Brenda Boss. Everybody's going in. Going in for the entries. Man, you guys are killing it. Going in. Going, going in, in for the and and it, the people that are entering, which painting do you want to win? Do you want to win the seascape, or do you want to win the fisherman's shack with the building, or do you want to win the cold blue one? Which one is your choice? And again, because we're up in a cloud, I don't want this to be the most perfect thing you've ever seen, right? It's got to be messy. It's a cloud. I'm not gonna just just see a perfect straight wooden beam up there, right? It's a cloud. This brush is not the best brush. I mean, it's good for what we just did right here, but not the best. I think I might have to throw this one out. It's kind of worn out. Kind of worn out. And if you guys are like, well, what brush are you talking about? What do, what are you using, right? <clears throat> I like these Meaden Micro Liner Micro Detail Paint Brush Set, right? They're very teeny tiny. And I can see one that I might want to use today, right? So like, they're like the smallest, Little, littlest thing. That one, oh no, wait, wait, where's that one? And they have different shapes too. They've got like little square ones, very straight ones, kind of script liners, very teeny tiny. This is a fantastic one. I gotta save that for later. But I love these things. And I'm kind of, I'm looking for like almost the biggest micro liner I can get right now. Since I threw away my Bob Ross script liner a long time ago, I haven't used that thing in ages. So let's take this guy right here. No, let's, 
Let's take this out. No, no, yes, no, okay. Right, yeah, meat and micro liners. You can find these in my Amazon uh, storefront, which is amazon.com slash shop slash paint with Josh. I do make a affiliate commission off of uh, your purchase, so. So if you don't want to support yeah. him, don't buy through his Amazon link. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. Terms and conditions say we must inform yeah. you. We have it's to tell you that I, I, I am a partner with Amazon. Holy cow. It may not look like a lot of pieces of paper, but I could tell that's a lot. Right into the hat. Right into the garbage. I mean the hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that, guys. That's a nice brush. Very small to the tip. Very soft. They're great brushes, Meaden. I love my, like I use a Meaden easel, too. I love it. You can get my easel, these brushes, this canvas. You know, all the stuff that we use, my palette, the canvases, all the stuff at uh, Amazon.com slash shop slash paint with Josh. Affiliate link, quote unquote. The affiliate link's not part of the web address, you turkey. <laughs> you well, all right. What do you, that, you made it sound like it was a one thing. Shop I think, dash paint with Josh dash. I think that's fine. And we'll just call it a day. Okay. Be a real quick live. What time is it? Oh, yeah, we've only been on for it. like 27 minutes. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Happy okay. Easter. Bye. Happy Easter, guys. We're going to do, do our Easter egg hunt now. All right. Let's see. Babe, we should have thought about that. You could have painted a forest scene. Right, well, you know. Mini Easter eggs hidden through the forest. It's, but it's Sunday seascapes. I don't care. And it's a very special Sunday exactly. seascapes. Exactly, so if it's a special Sunday, then it, it could be outside the box. All right, let's take the white, just on our liner brush, and just go on the left side of our cross. You have okay. another 23 minutes, uh, you have another 33 minutes, guys, if you're interested in joining the raffle. 33 minutes on the raffle. Go to paintwithjosh.com to get your tickets. Let's do it on the top. Should we go all the way across? See what that looks like. All we're really doing is just putting a little bit of stuff in there. And then we're going to take a brush. What kind of brush, Josh? What kind of brush? Oh! Man, I you know, I'm going to have to put a big tree in this painting because I, I just got a new Simply Simmons uh, number eight from Michaels. And I'm gonna, I really want to use it. <clears throat> I fear if, I, if we use the, the one inch brush, it's going to grow a lot more than I want. So I just want to use the, like the top four or five hairs on this brush to just mix it up just slightly enough to where it just kind of blends in with the sky. Right, because it's a cloud, it's not a craw, it's not a perfect thing. All right, we can maybe put a little bit of base to it. See what I mean? It's not a perfect bit, doesn't have to look perfectly. As long as we have that kind of, you know, again, it's a cloud, it's a cloudscape. So, cut me some slack, guys. Yes, so Roberta, good. I'm so sorry. There are 10 extra <clears throat> RH stars. 10 extra RA stars in there. In the hat. I apologize for not saying your name, Roberta. I promise you, I did write 10 of them. It was quite funny, actually, because by the end of it, my stars just looked like <laughs> I was just scribbling in the... <laughs> there we go. What do you guys think of that? Uh, that looks like fire, but I wouldn't bring those other clouds too high to get rid of that. No, um, yeah, no, that's the... That crosses. That's the thing, right there. That's it. But then and I'm just going to highlight the, the bottom a little bit with some white. Why am I holding on to my mall stick? Oh, like, no. I'm just holding it like a... <laughs> Brenda, you've made it into the uh, raffle as well. I also wrote your initials down on a tiny piece of paper. Tiny, tiny piece of paper. Oh, I just dropped my paint. I uh, dropped my brush into the paint. Oh, babe. Sorry, it's white. It's uh, It'll blend in. It's fine. Okay. It'll blend. If it'll blend, if anyone can blend it, it'll be you. Ah! Blend, 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 blend. Should have been like blending with Josh. That's the blending, blending. It's the new channel, blending. All right, yeah, little cloudscape, right? Little cross. Does it? Does the cross need to be lighter colored? I don't think so, because the sun is back there, right? So it's kind of cast. That's why the bottom is darker. The the light. The top is a little bit lighter. It's maybe a back. tiny bit of yellow on that cloud. Which cloud? The cloud to the right that's over the yellow. Just, bit. Bit? just, just a tiny bit, just so you can see the sun coming right. through. Right, that that's cloud. what I love about this section right here, like that yeah. little right. tiny piece of yellow coming out the back. And it's all about, um, it's all about picking your your spots well enough. Right, so there we go. Trying to mix a little bit of yellow on here. That's too much paint. 
It's all about picking your, your areas, right? I knew I wanted to leave a little bit of that yellow kind of shining around the cloud. So pick your area as well. But again, now we can't go too yellow too close, otherwise it'll lose that little area. But now we got a couple little bits, little, little yellowish highlights on the tip tops of the clouds. Nice. <laughs> Brenda said, we missed you Friday in London, but Bailey did a great job. Yes, Bailey is awesome. Why don't we pull this down a little bit, like it's raining underneath. Just very lightly. Get this far off rainstorm. I love doing these. I guess I'm about to enter 25 jokes in the hat. 25 joke JKs? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right, let's see. Oh, man. Say thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry, I'm having, I'm having tons of trouble today. Oh, that's what it is? Yeah. No, he's always like this. <laughs> it's not today. <laughs> having tons of trouble today. All right, now I want to push these clouds a little bit further back. So I want to get a little darker color. Maybe just chuck in a little bit of randomness. And throw it off to the side. Do sort of something over here. And that's what we like showing. You don't need to have a, a perfect plan. There's no perfect shape to a cloud. So paint, you know, when I look up at a cloud, it's just a random array of dark and light areas and very, you know, soft and fluffy or far away, all sorts of different ways you can do the clouds. A little bit of our white with yellow mixture again, because that was a good idea. Shannon right? Lawson just said, I would illuminate the outline of the cross with a pale pastel yellow. That'd be a good idea too. Yeah. You can do that. A right? little bit of mess on top of those clouds. That's all we need is a little bit of mess, right? Then we'll come in, maybe a little darker section push that lighter area back. But again, being random. So when we go to do our, our little things and we move all over the place and shape it differently, it will start to kind of change. Let's go back over here. Okay. We'll add another little like section. Ours. They're not supposed to be ours. They're supposed to be K's. I can't enter 25 jokes if they look like Junior. <laughs> The reason I like using a knife is because you get a, a random amount of paint in different oh, areas. So your clouds will look random, thicker in some areas, thinner in some areas, right? Really cool looking. We're gonna take it, we're gonna swipe it up. We're gonna come across, and that's it. You get this far off thing back there. Now I like that idea of the yellowy, kind of iridescent color around our, uh, bit of a cross so we're going to see if we can't do that try to pull our brush twisting it as we move it so we get this very sharp edge to it <clears throat> let's go around here hey guys we haven't said it just yet but if you could at the bottom of the video you'll see a little arrow that points to the right that will post this live to your news feed so that everyone in your friends list can see it it does do much more than you think it does josh what are the recent numbers that we looked at we were looking at, I've reached, because you guys keep sharing and, and new people keep sharing stuff, we've reached 200,000 people. We've had more than 200,000 views and 200,000 minutes watched on, on, Facebook. on Facebook because you guys keep sharing. So if you think it doesn't help, my numbers have skyrocketed. And Based on what you guys are doing, we yeah. are up 446%. Right, we're up a thousand new followers this month because... It's just because you guys share it. Yeah, so because you guys are sharing it. I mean, I, I am... For anyone sitting there thinking, oh, I'm not going to do that because it doesn't help him. Right, yeah, no, it helps. It helps sharing. Babe, babe I have to just make a comment. Your yeah. cross no longer looks like a cross. What does it, it look like? It looks more like an X. Can you make the bottom of your cross just come out the bottom of the cloud? So that it looks longer, it looks very short. No, 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 Okay, no. I will, I will. Okay. You, need to, you mean it needs to be extended like that? Yeah, it needs to be longer. The, right? The longer portion needs to be longer, it looks a bit short. Okay, I think that's perspectively right. Yeah, that looks, it, it, yeah, it looks much better, slightly longer. There we go. Thank you so much, John. Yeah, that was a good idea. It really does. Uh, it really does do way more than you think. So, the the likes, smashing the like button. Yeah, the, the likes emojis, definitely. All of that. It tells Facebook, hey, I really like this video. So if you can smash those emojis, it double reads. tap the thumbs up. 
whatever it is. It sends it out to more people. Even and then as you guys share it, all of your friends look at it and they go, man, this is kind of cool. Let me watch this. And then they share it. Even if you That's hate how people it. go viral, guys. Even if you hate it. Press the angry face. You're still ah. telling Facebook, look, I hate it, but I can't stop watching it. Yeah, I don't like this, but... <laughs> I do not enjoy this at all, but I will continue to watch for educational purposes. Now, I've never, I've never done a... Oh, jeez, oh, that was you. I thought Bailey was in here. No, 25 jokes in the hat. 25 J Kazers. All right, just taking our brush, throwing a little bit of cloud, like our, our cross is now sitting in the cloud. You can't see the bottom of the cross anymore. What's cool is we can literally blend this stuff away. Anything we don't want, we can blend out. You literally can. We need to put one more little edge over here. And we can just do it with the brush itself. All we're doing is dumping a little bit of our kind of purple, the same kind of purpley mixture that we've made. We're just adding that as our shadows. All it does is just provide a little bit of depth for the clouds. I and mean, you don't even need much more than that, right? Mix it up a bit. Don't want to have it connect too much into the sky, right? It's kind of like a vignette. It's going out to the edges with nothing. Why am I still holding this? I don't know. There we go. All right. Yeah, that was a great idea for the... The highlight of the yellow on there. Good call to that person. Let's see. All right, Susan, little bit of this, I did just go in and like your crochet business. Uh, for anyone here that uh, has a business, please um, please drop your business name so that I can go over there and have a look. Unless you oil paint, in which case I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> don't follow him from Paint with Josh, though, because I'm only following 13 people. It's my lucky number. Babe, this is me. Oh, okay. This has nothing to do with you. Yeah, it's not because I don't like anybody. It's because 13 is my lucky number. And because I'm following 13 people, my craziness thinks that this is why I'm doing better. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I don't follow you, but, you know, and I'm sorry if I unfollow you because I need to follow a different page or something. Like, there's only two pages that will never get unfollowed, and that's London's page and my own self. I don't know why I follow myself, but I do. <laughs> that's, that's pretty big. Babe. Babe. Yeah. In case anyone was curious, yeah. Uh, what's on your hat today? My hat? Which one am I wearing? HLL. Oh, my HLL hat? That's my old school. That was what I used to call the company. That's what I used to call the page was Happy Little Landscapes. And I started by watching Bob Ross and stuff. And you guys can see that that's what we continued to paint was Happy Little Landscapes. But I, you know, I, I, I wanted to get away from that and we switched to paint with Josh. It was the most like nerve wracking thing I'd ever done. It was like all of a sudden, instead of hiding behind this name of happy little landscapes, it was hit paint with Josh. Here's my face. Like, you know, here's me. And I'm, I'm not the most confident person of my painting abilities. So I was nervous to kind of change from that and been able to hide behind that to then being it all me. And, uh, but yeah, that's the old logo. So the only, only the super OG fans know about, know about Happy Little Landscapes. The old HLL, that looks pretty good. A little bit thick where I wanted, I wanted it a little softer. So we just mix it up a little bit more, swipe it up and we're good. Still, if we could get like the, just the littlest touch of like maybe a little bit of rain falling out, maybe it's tears falling out from underneath the cross into our, our scene below, that might look really cool. If we can make it nice and soft, just almost like it's not even there. Oh, yes, look at that. And then we drop our ocean right back there underneath it. Babe, if yeah. I'm honest, I don't think you need an ocean. Just cut it off. Just cut it off. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. Just Sun a cloudscape. Sunday skate. Maybe we could do... A... Sunday skate. No sea today. Yeah, no sea, just Sunday cloudscapes. Just Sunday skate. <laughs> it's a sunscape. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, bottom right hand corner, babe. Yeah. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of blue. Just take the paintbrush and the C just splashed into the into the photo. Oh, so it was like. Just, psh, right? Yeah, but like, just like the tiny, not that. Big, <laughs> like just. <laughs> that's how that's how crazy I am. London's like, do a wave, and I'm like, yes, giant wave. <laughs> Giant way. You do that in your own head. You're like, oh, I'm gonna stick a tree here, and I'm like, oh, no, I, please I, don't stick a tree. 
Either. I plan on sticking a tree in. Oh no! Oh yeah, baby. No. We gotta push it back. We gotta push it back. No, so. babe, literally, <laughs> like, everybody in the comments is like, yeah, just leave it alone. Okay, fine. We're done then. Okay, See cool. You guys. Have a good night. Uh, if someone wants me to leave it alone, they would buy it as is. So, which one of you watching would literally buy it as it sits right now? Because that's the determining factor, right? Like, oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Would you buy it like that? Un <laughs> unfinished? Because if you will, I'll put it in my store and let you buy it. But to me, it needs a lot more. So, if you want to continue, let's continue. Man, it does look See, really great. Gina said, no, no, tree. Jonathan no tree. E Jonathan Ebley says, I'd buy it one dollar. Damn. Damn. <laughs> just Starting the bidding high then, are we? Clear, just to be clear, just to be clear, we raffle for a dollar. Yeah, this painting would be once, about 146 bucks by the time we're all done. Once you have a painting of Josh's, it will go on your wall and you will think to yourself, I must go on and buy other paintings by Josh. It is a is a direct marketing expense. It is not to it, it is not to decide or point out that Josh's artwork is cheap. It's totally not construed that way at all. Yeah, put a C in there, babe. Yeah, baby. I don't know about tree though. No, we got it like the like the Sunday Seascape set, <laughs> season two, episode one, where it had that big tree in the side. John Ooh, John Warren says it is fabulous as is, but I would always wonder what else you would have created. Right, it's see, like an unfinished sentence. Yeah. I like it. Okay, let's do smallest little bit of that cloud color we've been making. That very light lavenderish, just very lightly, not even getting much on the brush at all. And we'll come in. I want to leave a lot of this nice, pretty. Well, maybe we only do a little teeny strip of ocean back there, and then all this is sand. All that could be the wet sand, that that oh, iridescence that would, yeah, right there. that would be lovely. And the giant tree! No, no yes! giant tree! <laughs> giant! Okay, I'm going to take my yardstick or mall stick and just decide where we want our no, our horizon to be, and good. I'd say about there. I'm literally going to cry if you put a tree. <laughs> I'm going to cry. It's going to look so good. Yeah, but is it going to be a birch tree? It's gonna be the, a big tree with a couple of limbs, some empty limbs and no, stuff. No, you're yeah. gonna no, you're gonna distract from how pretty the. But the I have to give it depth. It's gotta go nobody, back. Nobody it's too close right now. Nobody cares about the tree. The but people will love it. Look, well, okay, the people that are painting along, right? When we come into the part that you See, don't want to do, you don't Brandy, have to do Brandy it. This is Josh. Listen to London. But you. This is my channel, or is this Josh. your channel? It is. Or paint, your channel. It is paint with London. <laughs> paint with London. London is it London's doesn't, channel? London doesn't paint, she just talks you guys through it. It is London's channel. Shannon Lawson says, wet sand, pampas grass with lavender blooms. It sounds like the opening sentence of a book. Yeah, right. <laughs> Here we go, very light. That was like almost even too light. Wasn't enough paint on the brush. Roberta says a branch with some flowers on it. Question. <clears throat> yes, go ahead with the question. What if somebody saw how beautiful your Good Friday painting was and wanted to buy it? How could they find out if it was for sale? They could go on Etsy, uh, paintwithjosh.etsy.com and I have it listed if it's still there. Uh, it's around $130, $140, something like that. Just for my 16 by 20 size, I decided to go with no matter how much I love the painting, if it's on a certain size, it's a certain price, and that's just it. That's just how I'm going to do it. And that way it's less confusing and everything else. Look, I'm literally, I have no paint on the brush. I'm just trying to take the smallest amount of, of even the purple from the edge or the purple from this side. Hey, babe, 20, and just save little pieces. More drugs coming up right now. Hey, hey. hey, hey save what? little pieces. Thank you, John. You suck at this. I'm I'm in the middle of trying to, uh, you know, I I, I, can't, I can't I can't I can't think I can't think anymore. How are you gonna paint cool. such a beautiful sign, scene, and then when gratitude comes around, yeah, you just uh, like, it. Uh, thanks, thank you, you know, John, you for nothing. your entry of uh, for the raffle. It's gonna be fantastic. And if you want to enter the raffle and win one of the three paintings that we you have, have, fifteen minutes to do so. For as little as a dollar, like London said, you've got fifteen minutes to enter the raffle. Just want to save, you know, little, ooh, ooh, wow. That is 
fantastic. Look how both these, they kind of come into each other like that. That's kind of like unwavy, you know, wavy bits of water. So now just based on how those look like, that's where my beach is going to be back there. It's going to be a really far away seascape. Is my There's horizon no tree. Even straight? Right? No, the tree is coming. Babe, please no tree. I'm going to do a tree. Please no tree. I'm, I have to paint what's in my brain. No, you that's don't. what the people want. No, it's not. Yes, I've asked them. They want everything but a tree. I've asked them what they wanted in the past, and the truth is they don't even know. So I have to paint what I see in my brain. And what I see in my brain is a giant tree. There we go. I don't want to cover all the base color underneath, right? We have to. I don't want to, is to that cover even straight? Painting with a giant tree. Just cannot get this line straight back. Tune there. in on Sunday to watch our husband and wife argue yeah. about whether or not the painter, the <laughs> husband, should paint a tree. Oh, you know what? No, I don't know. We did like a far no, off little bit of mountain. With that in depth, we would need a tree. Way back there. Look, that's how you get those little far off guys. That's absolutely stunning. Could you do that? Oh, yeah, look. Could you do that without a tree? Babe. I really don't want a tree, babe. Like the sky, <laughs> clouds, everything. Like, no. John Warren just had a very good idea, but I'm worried if I give him any sort of encouragement, John, it's going to become a tree. What? He said olive branch, which is a really good idea. True. Just coming in off the left hand side, but it has to be small and not giant. There we go. Well, I don't know how to paint an olive branch. I know how to paint a giant tree. No <laughs> giant trees. But I know how to paint one. I don't care. Babe, yeah. you're going to be mad when we get to the point where the tree comes in. I know, just walk out. <laughs> I'm telling you, I did the giant tree in the last one. You were like, oh my God, no, no, no. And then you're like, oh yeah, well, that's fantastic. Yeah, no, I never said that. You did? No. You did. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I'm going to take a little bit of dark line on our liner brush, right? Just kind of line out a bit of water. It looks like this, babe. What? It's like a leafy thing with olives on it. Oh yeah, no, I can't paint that. I can paint a giant tree. He's like, no, no, I can't paint that. All right, a little bit of why it looks like butt cheeks. I didn't mean it for it to look like that. Excuse you? Yeah. There we go. A little bit of water kind of crisscrossing over each other. A couple little waves. Little things, little details. And then we'll go back and highlight them. Off to the side. How far can we make it grow? Right. Uh, I didn't know that was a thing. What? Lavender pampas grass. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, with the purple Ooh. things? Yeah. No. It has magic fly written all over it. Jeez. I really want to do a tree, guys. Maybe from this side. <laughs> uh, Deb Hicks, if you want to buy raffle right. tickets, you can head to paintwithjosh.com. It's right there on the homepage. It makes it super easy for everybody. Uh, I am about two thirds of the way of John Krasniak's entries. John, you're giving London more work than That's fine. That's she fine. Wants. 35 cents an hour. If you support the minimum wage, please uh, please keep the current purchase at the way that it is. If you do not support my 35 cents salary, then please buy more raffle tickets per hour. That That's how it raises my... <laughs> yeah, right. And then you go up. <laughs> like, then I'll go up. Yeah. Currently, I'm at four dollars and fifty cents per hour. Okay, twenty-five extras. Why do I only have one shoe on? <laughs> it's almost like there's a little crashing wave over on that side, just going on to the beach, right? Can you put this in the hat? Where? Oh yes. My goodness, look at all these going in the hat. This is going to be a serious raffle. Yeah, right. Serious raffle. A little bit of foam, splash, something. John? A little bit of kind of blue underneath, just to give a little bit of something, some kind of something. John Warren is trying to push my buttons today. Oh, is he? Yes, he said, uh, you really want to use your new fan brush, I think. Yeah, I do. No, stop I it. really do. Don't encourage it's him. It's going to be great. Do not encourage <laughs> him. John Krasniak, Trees with Josh, hush. Trees with Josh. No. That's a thing. 
All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of. Oh no, I didn't get any liquid wine out. Is there any left in this thing from yesterday? Roberta says, "No, please don't drop mine this time." Don't drop what? Yeah, we dropped her raffle ticket. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, we did not. Oh, it's my fault. Yeah, I you dropped the raffle ticket. You did it. Ain't got nothing to do with me. I was over here the whole time. That's true. She was. Yep. All right. Have you guys seen the new intro for Josh's video? Yeah, London made me this awesome thing. It's on the page. You gotta scroll down a little bit, but it's there. It's definitely cool. Shows how you can follow and see his posts yeah. on Facebook. It starts with a like a, a 10 second countdown. So look for that and yeah. then you'll be the able to see. The video's not broken. It's just how it's made. And she did. She took so long working on this thing and it turned out fantastic. Fantastic! Oh, this is looking good too. All right, a little bit of beachiness, right? And we'll imagine this is our, our sandy line. Maybe the water comes in about that far. Or it goes something, some kind of something. But we need a little bit of liquid white and our white. That's why we stopped. So we could come back in. Got to get the, uh, the, the right kind of mixture, right? And then we'll come in and just maybe put a couple little bits just by pushing up. Let me try to stay out of your way. Pushing up with the brush, right? Just like that. My God. So so far this morning. My God, that looks fantastic. We have had raffle. It really does. We have had raffle tickets purchased by the following. Roberta, thank you for the stars. Um, we have had purchases by John Krasniak, Joe Santos, uh, Brenda Boss, Michelle Rose, Susan Braham. Man, thank you guys. I'm gonna have to write down the spelling of your name, Susan, in the comment box, because otherwise, I'm sure I'm just butchering it. Uh, Richard Burton and Tanya. Um, have all Thank you guys. This morning, uh, you do have eight minutes left. You can just enter one dollar. Yeah, do doesn't need cost to buy you multiple tickets. But it is unlimited entries yeah, per person. So the more you have in there, the more you know chance you're going to have it at winning. All right. A little bit underneath our, it's like Graham with a our little splashies. Graham? Graham. It's not Graham. Braham, like Abraham. That's how my brain read it. You're reading it like Broham. What's up, Broham? All right. A little more splashies. Just to give it a little bit more depth, right? It's kind of crashing in. And then we can go back and decide where we actually want the water line to be. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lean. I did see your stars come through. I'm so sorry. I just scrolled up. I apologize. Oh, London. I know. No, guys, it's hard. They're good. So we get so many comments come in recently that it's it's almost impossible. And you'll notice, like, I've, I I can't keep up anymore. I had to stop responding to people. So if I'm if I'm scrolling through and randomly I see one, you know, come up, I'll I'll respond to it if I'm free. But. I, I can't do it anymore, guys. Like, yeah, we and we and, and I love you. I love you guys for it. Like, we have to turn I've, the I've, notifications off on the pages because yeah, it's just, I've reached that level it's apparently where it's just yeah. I can't. I want to. I want to respond, but I don't have the time. It it literally stops me dead at work trying to to respond and and dead at home doing anything. So I think these need to be a little bit bigger, though. It's think? the same thing like when I'm out at night driving. And people are commenting on the post or liking the post or... I'm oh, sure, yeah, you know, it blows up your messages. phone, too. My watch goes off every two seconds, and it's like, I love it, and I read every one, but at the same time, it's 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 just to the point now where it's it's a full-time job. Oh, it definitely is. You know, so... But we love it, guys. Keep them coming, yeah, because def- that they, it sends the post out to more people. So, I'm definitely not complaining. I'm just telling you, and most... People get to this point where they just can't do it anymore, and it's just physically. I we, we, I don't have the time in the day to do it anymore, or to get to everybody. So, thank you. We do, we very much appreciate it, but we do have to come out and say like, if you notice less kind of response from me, don't take it personally. It's just I've got so many things that I see all day long, and I I just can't. I can't get it all. I wish I could, but I can't. Well, yeah, but you also, I mean. <laughs> Just to look at what you're doing now in comparison to what you were doing two years ago. Oh, two years ago, I had all the time in the world to talk. Right, but you're an admin for a 50,000 member group. True, true. You know, you've got 7,000 followers on your own Facebook. True, yeah, we finally you know, broke 7,000. Thanks you've got for reminding me. Over 3,000 subscribers on YouTube. Like, 
It's a lot of people that are actively painting yeah. on a daily basis. Oh yeah, and, and we're like we're we're like we probably have already surpassed it, but YouTube stats are are like a day behind. We're so close to a hundred thousand views on YouTube, guys. Which just literally it blows my mind that I've spent that much time on your screen with everybody. You know, a hundred thousand views. Like it's literally crazy. Crazy many, to me. How many impressions, babe? On YouTube, I don't even know. No, more Facebook. than a million. On Facebook. Oh, uh, I, I, you showed me, but I can't remember. It's one point four million. One point four million on Facebook for impressions. So, what is an impression? Really, is the question. Man, that looks cool. It just kind of sealed off that whole side right there. But look, based on how we we angle our brush and the swipes, Dead we picks. can make it look round. Or have it have a so ridge. Ten entries. Hey, hey. Yeah. Happy Easter, everyone. That looks cool. Let's do a little smaller. Four minutes. Four minutes to finish. Oh, shoot. I got to finish, guys. Not four minutes for me. Four minutes for you. Let's come in with a, a bigger rock. You see how much darker this guy is? And the way that it sits and how it comes down into the foreground, that pushes those other rocks back. I might even actually have to come even higher up. There we go. All right, it has to be closer than that one back there. So it needs to be higher and sit lower. And I like making rocks off the edge of the canvas. It's a cool thing to look at. For just one dollar, you go. could enter. I don't want to lose too much of the sand. So. Win an original piece by Joshua. Yeah, win a Josh K original. A paint with Josh Originale. There we go. K10 entries going in for Dev Hicks. And how much have we got just today? Just to say it silently. I did in my head. Oh, okay. I picked it up. Okay, good. <laughs> well, here we go. Here we go. Do we got more? Yep, we have another order in here. Guys. You guys are doing awesomely. Man, oh, guys, we could put the tomb right over here and include both of them again. I mean, who's going to tell us we can't? Or you could do just half. What do you mean? So it looks like the image is taken from... So you've got half half the opening and the rock. There we go. On Off the left-hand side of the canvas. Oh, having the rock go the other way? Like the, the tomb door going off the other way? No, no, like, no, I'm doing it the same way you did it before. Right, but, but it would only, have to be... Only showing half of the opening. Yeah, so like half the opening and yep. then the piece of the rock in front of it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a great idea. But I don't know, yeah. we did that. I don't Can like doing do the same stuff. Can you do that instead of a tree? No, the tree is going. No tree! <laughs> We're going to have a domestic around here. We are. The tree we are trees. is coming. No trees. Guys, like, look, we're back, you know, somewhere in Oregon, off the coast. There's yeah. a big tree, or somewhere in Maine, or Pens uh, or uh, Nova Scotia, where Jonathan's from, right? There's somewhere out there where there's a bit of kind of giant, you know, large old trees that have been there for a long time, and that's what we're going to paint in. No tree. Oh, Hush, yeah. Jonathan. Oh, yeah, tree. Hush, hush, Jonathan. See, Jonathan lives in Nova Scotia, like on the edge of the hey guys, ocean, and there's we, trees there. We're finally coming down to like the last 15 seconds. If should you're we, interested in should we extend? Raffle ticket. Does anybody need more time to get their raffle tickets in and ready? Anybody else going to purchase? Or are we all ready and then everyone's just going to sit silently with my like, good little children and wait? And <laughs> arms crossed or knees crossed. Crisscross applesauce. Crisscrossed applesauce. I have a more entries. For more you. entries for good night. Er, mouth me what we have so far today. Just today? Yeah. Um, like. Oh, that's good. That's amazing. You guys are amazing. Yeah, there it's got nothing go. to do with us. <laughs> yeah, we suck. All right, since I got this brown out, we might as oh, well babe, use it. Babe. What? Joe Chris hates this. We're having a difference in tree. <laughs> There's a difference in tree. Oh my goodness. Deborah Williams, gorgeous, beautiful, love it. She just sent 530 stars. Holy Thank cow, so that's like Deborah. Yeah, that's a that's a good amount of actual real money. Thank you for that. 
Thank you for that. Gina Lamb says, London, please tell Josh he is painting my calm, beautiful ocean beach scene right now. It is so beautiful. Thank you. I thought I was painting my calm, beautiful ocean beach scene. <laughs> I didn't know. Did you do one like this too? A little bit more brown. I don't want them to be so super bright, but you got to have some brightness in some areas and some darkness in some areas and then some really dark areas. As we come down into the shadowy side, all the sunlight wouldn't really get around that far, right? Boom. Just leave this cool a little bit. Pulling it a different direction, different ways, different things. It's really cool. Turn it off on here. Pulling it down. Again, different angles, different swipes, and your rock will look a different way. Imagine that. Roberta Harris just sent 50 stars again. Roberta! So, uh, entry is now closed. Oh, no more tickets, guys. So stop going to paintwithjosh.com. You'll have to go in and take that out, hon. Or, like, deactivate the top listing or something so no one else goes and buys any. Hi, Dad. Hi, Bubba. Oh, get off the chair. Don't sit like that. You? I was like, oh, crooked. A little bit of darkness. Can't have everything be in the light, right? I think we'll skip the tomb on this one and go with the giant tree. No giant tree. Yes, Shannon, giant Shannon Lawson tree. says, man, if you could paint Jesus walking on that I water. Tell me that about amazing, it, right? But I know you don't do peace. Well, I wish I could. I hold on, hold on, I hold could. on. We could mix media this. I could very easily paint. I could very easily You could get a picture? Print. Just the back of Jesus? Okay. You'd have to have Jesus see. looking we away. Just, we could hold it up. You'd have to have Jesus looking away. At the right angle, you know, kind okay, of babe, arms out, it, going it, I away. It, I got it, babe. It'd be it. really cool. That's a good idea. I'll show you guys a trick. I'm not the one that... No one's ever questioned my perspective. Oh. You could do Jesus' feet. Burn. Because he's a god, so... Hold on, babe. Put him out there walking on the water, if I could. If I... I really would, if I could. All right, let's get a little bit... Something's off down here. Something's weird. We need something that'd be a little softer, maybe. There we go. All right, now we don't know what's wet, what isn't wet. We'll bring this guy down in front, too. Good, he comes off that way. Well, um, that's true. I'm not really confident in footprints, though, either. It's okay. We're going to get it taken care of right now. There we go. All right. <clears throat> we do need to put a couple trees, though. Small ones. Maybe large ones. <laughs> So let's paint in some water. Let's paint in some sand anyway. Get that brown we got. We got to finish off the bottom, right? It can't all be this wet, shiny, sandy stuff. So let's paint in just very lightly. Pulling in from the side with our brown. Man, it does look so cool. Like the tide is just like really far out. Far out, man. Far out. Pull down with these guys. Right? Just get that little bit of darkness in there, and then we can shrink our... Look at that. Guys, we can almost do an upside-down cross as a reflection from the cloud. But isn't an upside-down cross... That's like a... That's like... That's the wrong... That's the wrong way to go. Like, you know... That's like witch territory. What is witch territory? An upside-down oh, cross. Oh, babe. What are you even... Like, if I was going to do the reflection of the cross, right, in the oh. sand... But then it would be an upside down cross, which is like a like a devil thing. Yeah. Like, you know, antichrist. That's not good. No. So I can't do that. But I don't think it's meant like that. I think everybody would read it as a reflection. They wouldn't read it as a sinister thing. But where the sun is, I don't think you need a reflection. Right. I don't down think in there. it's that kind of that kind of sky. Is the printer no longer plugged in? I have no idea. Let's bring this rock a little bit closer. All right, bring him down like that. Ooh. Shannon. Ooh, he's Shannon come down closer. Shannon, you're happy Easter, man. You are amazing. Happy Easter, dude. I had somebody, I said, uh, somebody followed one of the tutorials, and I was like, dude, you nailed it. Like, great job. And they're like, uh, I'm a 63-year-old woman. And I was like, I, I know, I know you are, but I, I use dude for everybody. It's like, it's just kind of cute. Not gender referring. No, it's, 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 it's a unisex term. There we go. 
All right, get up some of that, more of that color, just very lightly pulling it down because we have to have a little darker side, right? Now we'll get the darker brown, kind of come in there so our, we get this graduation of darkness as it starts coming light, medium light, dark, right? <clears throat> At least that's how I like to do it. I hate the side of the canvas over here where it's like, it kind of, you get this weird lip and then it's hard to fill it in with the knife. That looks fantastic. It even looks like a little piece of this rock went out that hey, way and then this is, the, is over here. This is the picture that we're going to print. You will, see. You will place. Mmm, he's more walking this way. I need him walking like dead straight out, no? I don't think it matters. Okay. There we go. We'll just have to adjust where we put him. Yep. There we go. Yeah, see, that's how we feel. But dude is genderless. Yeah, dude is a genderless thing. That's very neat. Now this rock is really close, and that one's a little bit further away over there. Yeah, but you've definitely got... Uh, perception you don't need a tree oh you mean i have depth in my painting and i don't need anything else correct amando it's very powerful all the brightness all the dark the sand everything oh man you even got this crashing wave out there that's like going off in a different direction maybe there's some coral out there it's crashing very soft over here this part doesn't make any sense though so just pull it away. Just like that. Changes it a little bit. See how far we can stretch it without getting too close to that rock. There we go. Man. That looks neat, guys. That looks cool. Right, bringing it down just a little. So just so it's not so uniform, right? I don't like it being so uniform. It's got to be a little messy, a little thicker in some spots, a little thinner in other places little differences you don't want to have too much paint on your knife either just like that it's almost like this thing it's very cool i'm very impressed guys good job here we go yeah <laughs> jonathan evely says i would buy this for much more than a dollar now yeah that's funny don't don't Shh. No. Yeah, man. That looks neat. Whatever it is I just did looks cool. Small little things, small little bits, little changes, little stuff, and then we can go over it numerous times and have it change and look different. Differences in color. Guys, man. I do like the one little piece that's like hanging off over here. So why don't we go down? We'll drop just a little, little hanger right in there. No, no, nobody even knows what it is. But it just helps push that water even further back. Man, that looks good. That the look a good, babe. It the look so nice. Right, just gonna shape it well. Oh man, that looks fantastic. There we go. Yep, yeah, I dig it. I dig it, guys. All right, London. Can we reverse that image? Uh, Is there a way to re like spin it? Oh, and I, then, uh, I could just find a different image. Okay. Oh well, if uh, if you don't have Jesus ready, then I'm going to have to put a big tree in to keep everybody don't, interested. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> you are a mean pants. Oh, that's funny. I'm trying to see which one. Ooh, what about that one where he's on land right there? This? Yeah. Because we got to cut him out anyway. That's kind of neat. So... Well, guys, what uh, what are you doing the rest of your Easter? Should we add any more? I could put a couple rocks in the sand over here. It's almost just so pretty. Like, I almost don't want to put anything else. Maybe we put some rocks at the base of this guy over here. It is not plugged in. So we have like a couple little, couple little things that we can blend off, right? The beach is never just this perfect, perfect thing. 
It is plugged in. Hold there on. I'm not figuring my life myself out. Oh, it's off. All right, a couple little rocks in there. Maybe one over here. And then we'll just pull them out and see what they look like. Little things, little stones. Yeah, I don't know. I like it better without. So just pull it back out. See? No change, no real difference. Actually, it gives me a cool idea now. We could do like a like a, like a little shelf underneath. All right, get a little bit of a dark color. Maybe pull it down a little further out there. And then we'll get smaller and smaller as we come over here. Take it and pull it out a different way. And now we got this little, I don't know, piece of rock, lifted bit, some kind of something. Come back with our white and our brown. And over there. A little bit more white. I want it to be a little lighter, right? Maybe down here, just based on what it looks like to me, maybe like a little overhang of a rock, just like that. See? It's all about taking a step back, looking at what you got, and seeing where to go from there, right? Now that looks cool. It's almost like the water is going to come creeping up, right? Up underneath there. When the tide comes in, you can tell where it gets lifted. It's kind of neat. There we go. Kind of neat, babe. A little bit of lighter color back there, but you can tell it's not all the same light color. We have to have what, guys? Differences in color. Differences. There we go. That's nice. I like this little ledge. I wonder if we could do it over here as well and disconnect them and have another little piece and go with the small edge of our knife and London's printing out a piece of paper. Oh, hang on, right there. Man, now we got a whole other little piece of rock over here. Or attach it to this guy just by mushing everything around. You get these cool little things. It's almost not dark enough under there though. Oh, it smells like ink. There we go. Don't grass me it says leave it just like that. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Warren Thank says you, but... it's head turning. When someone says leave it just like that, I don't. Yeah, he doesn't listen, John. You should know that by now. Okay, the raffle, uh, the raffle product is going into draft mode. Oh, oh, no longer be a baby. All right. More little things coming in every so often. Cool little something going on. Yeah, that smell is like really bad. I agree. I thought paint thinner was bad. Have you guys smelled a printer? <laughs> Maybe our printer doesn't get used enough, huh? Yeah, it's like the burnt dust. Why is it never dark enough when I go to my dark pile? There we go. A little bit of rock. Pull this guy out. A little bit more dark. Oh yeah, it's like a little pathway to the beach now, guys. We can pull that out right there. Get our dark color to mush in over here. Then we can pull this guy out. Just slightly let him mix in with that dirt, our sandy color. Okay, just one more image and then I'm done. And then we'll pull that guy out that way. Really, really cool. Right now we've got this little opening. It's almost closed out. We could even close it if you really wanted to. But I know we're gonna have our our guy walking through. You can get it darker down in here. Alright, just let it all flow in, mix in with itself. 
very lightly though. See? There we go. That's making more sense to my brain. Yeah, we got this little opening where we're going to be able to walk in. Yeah, that's better. That's better. something. What's going on over there, babe? I'm cutting. London is cutting. A little bit of just it's straight brown, so we keep it darker in the shadow. Not going to touch down all the way. We may have to use a little bit of the highlight on the edge, maybe a little yellow in there. Hey, here's my first suggestion. Because I think the coloring works wonderful. That would be cool, guys. What do you think? Walking out, or how big do we make him? You know what I mean? We could literally put him on the... No, that'd be too tall. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Just trying to blend that a little bit with the paint that's underneath, just over and over and over again until it blends itself away. Now we can tell it's a whole different thing. All right, maybe we take the bottom of this guy and he gets pulled out as well. So now all of this will be our dark sandy beach. All right, get that cool thing. Got our ridge over here that's gonna kind of go down into darkness, into the shadows, all right? Whoop, almost fell. There we go. Just pulling it out different ways, different angles. All sorts of stuff. Okay, well, that looks freaking awesome. It's all about you continue to add, and if London wouldn't let me add a tree, then I'm gonna add as many rocks and ledges and all sorts of stuff that I can get. That's fine, just no trees. Giant tree coming right after Jesus. No. All right, let me wipe my hands off. Show you guys this cool trick that I do on some of my things. It's like, well, you got gloves on, what are you wiping your hands for? Because I don't want any paint where I don't need it. And we also rewash plastic cups in this. Yeah, right. So here's our, our Jesus character, our cutout, right? London did an excellent job. And if we can get him just right, what do you think, hon? Tell me when to stop. You know that's just my first suggestion, right? I have another Oh, what's, well, what's your other one? I have another one coming up right now. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just stall then. Hey, guys. How you doing? It's Easter. How you doing? Easter. Where's my drink? This guy would be cool from, like, coming out of here, I think, at the very bottom. Right? What do you guys think? Like he's about to walk out onto the beach, right? Don't want to put him dead center because he's looking, his perspective is he's looking over here. So we'll see. We'll see what the other one looks like. But yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll turn it into a little mixed media piece since I can't paint Jesus. Maybe it's cheating, maybe it's not, but you, you know, know, I... I literally do not think there is one person watching you that cares whether it's cheating or not. <laughs> But what we'll do is while our painting is wet, I'll coat a little bit of our cutout in liquid white. Just the smallest little bit with like a little fan brush, a couple little areas, right? Like, uh, like you do with glue. You put it in a couple little areas and then we'll turn them over and we'll stick them. And because the paint is wet and the paint back here will be wet, oh, he's little, little guy. Yeah, but you could put him out on the water. I could put him up in the freaking clouds, man. Because look, he's looking down. Like we could literally put him up in the clouds and just cover over his feet. How does everybody feel about number two? What do you guys think? Smaller two. version, maybe up in the clouds, right? I mean, you could put him up on top of this rock and that rock would be gigantic, right? It would just bring the perspective of the rock much closer. What about above the cross? Up here? <laughs> like he's standing on it? <laughs> yeah. I, I could add another cloud and he could be up here looking down, but I think if it was going to be in the clouds, he would have really to be here. I really like that, putting it to the right. Yeah, he would have to Not be right here there, in, the in the cloud. Yeah, here. 
right? Are you yeah, looking? to me that just looks spectacular. Yeah, like he's in the cloud. He looks like he's looking down. What, is the, what do the fans think? Or should we do one down on the beach? Where he's walking. Everyone's like, on the cloud. Yep, the smaller one. On the cloud. Yep. Oh, yeah, really? Yep, yep. Okay. Smaller one. On the <laughs> Let's do it. All right, now, this is going to be more difficult. Oh, Lane Jensen says, on the rock. It, you've been outvoted, Lane. Everybody is. Uh, I can put him says. on the rock, too. But then you'd, it almost makes sense if there was more people down here, like he was the disciple speaking to his followers down here. There's a boat over but, here that I could cut out for you. Boat. Oh, full of... Uh, Cool like this. You know, I got a little growth. Nice. A growth. See how I did it? Babe. Look. All right, up in the clouds, and it is, yeah? Up here, guys? Yeah, that's, that's what I say. Hold on one second. Should we put him closer to the cross? Should he sit there? Should he sit up above Re the cross? Roberta Harris says, Stop now, add Jesus, and I will buy this. <laughs> $3,000 for this painting, Roberta. Stop it. <clears throat> All right, let's see. All right, okay. All right, Roberta's going to buy it. Where do you want it, Roberta? Yeah. You want Jesus up in the clouds right here where Josh thinks he looks best? Roberta says clouds. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see, we're asking again. This is pressure. Oh, I need that tool. I need the city trees tool. Bailey! Tool? Yeah, the little thingy. So, well, I guess I could use the back of my brush or whatever, but... Yeah. Oh, okay. Shannon and... Lawson said you're killing me, Josh. I'm killing you? Roberta Harris says clouds. Wait, why am I killing her? I don't know. She'll be all right. <laughs> why am I... Oh, maybe because we're taking too long? Maybe. Know. All right, let me put the family in, and then we'll put the Jesus in. No, Shannon. He's going in the clouds. We already have a... <laughs> we already have a prospective buyer. Oh, oh, John Warren just said, what's Roberta's bid? Oh, yeah, okay, so let's do that. Okay, if you, who wants... It, we can open it up as a bid. Who wants this painting the most? Well, I mean, it's it would normally be $140, so your your bid has to start at more than $140. Because that's just my, my base cost on this Roberta size. Roberta said 150 Ooh, on, 150 John. $150 for this one. Watch, some, some silent bidder is going to like pop in at the end and outbid both of them two that have been doing it. And they're like, ha ha! They wouldn't have commented at all throughout the whole thing. But yeah, if you guys want to do a live bid, you know, I'll, I'll sell it to the highest bidder. Yeah. And it won't even go on the Etsy shop. It'll just go straight through Shopify to you guys. Oh, Gina Lamb says 200 200 <laughs> Woo! Nelly! As long as I stop, though, and it doesn't, it doesn't change. All right. Let's put the family in over here. Deborah Williams says, on right side, not left side. No, it's... Yeah, that's, that's our birds that are going on the, on the left side of the cross, or the cloud. And then um, Jesus will be on the right-hand side. Yeah, oh, and it's only because of his oh, perspective. Hold on, hold on, because Gina Lamb says she'll spend 200 but no Jesus. 200 for no Jesus. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Well, then we'll just have to wait to see who's going to do what. Who's going to do, who wants it most? Who's going to do what? Because I can do either which way. Roberta Harris says, oh no, Jesus needs to be there. I, I really think Jesus needs to be there too. And I'm not a religious person at all. We don't go to church. We go to the church of Josh, right? But, uh. We don't go to church. I grew up, uh, I was raised Mormon, uh, you know, very, not really strict, but very religious Mormon family. And um, so I've seen all the imagery. I've grown up around it. I just don't practice today. But, you know, I think even that this, the little Jesus that London found, it would look so beautiful right there in the clouds. Just like he's looking down on the Okay, just hold it world. up and then just stay still. So... I, I, I need I need a, a pair of tweezers or something. It's too small with my big hand in the way. Uh, like a pair of tongs? <laughs> Hang on. I bet Bring you it's... me some kitchen tongs. He might just stick on his own. God. What about in that... Oh! There he goes. All right. He won't stick on his own. Okay. That's okay. What about in the stick. divot of the cloud? In the what? In the divot of the cloud right there. Where? Tell me when to stop. Go to the right, right there. Right here? If he's standing right there. So 
So like that. Yeah, in the divot of the cloud. Yeah, just like that. Okay, obviously he's not affixed. Right, so, but, but just... now everyone can see what it will look like if we put the Jesus in there. And tell me it doesn't look fantastic. Like, we're going to hide his feet, right? So it doesn't look like he's just floating up there. I'm going to hide his feet with a little bit of cloud at the bottom. But look, he's got his hand out like he's... He's ready to accept us into heaven. Like, come on, and I'm not even religious. <laughs> That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Come on. Teen, Tina Warren said, Jesus being beamed up by a UFO. Oh, dude. Who's going to pay? Stop. No, stop. Who's going to pay 300 for no that one. one to see? <laughs> no one. No one. This oh. Time. Oh, goodness. Oh, he almost fell. Goodness. He almost fell into the paint thinner bucket. That would have been bad. That would have been really bad. Okay. All right, so what are we thinking? What's the consensus? The question is also, can we do, can we make prints of it once it's finished? So, we could, but whatever way it is, I won't be able to add, I mean, I could... No, if you add Jesus, and that is the confirmed piece... Yeah then that is what we make prints of. Yeah. and But yeah, I'll have prints, so there'll be more than one version. I'll do canvas prints, and I'll do poster prints. Um, so you could buy the poster for cheaper and then frame it, or the canvas will come and it'll be... Why it'll probably have black sides, babe, and then it'll be good. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Why don't we finish the painting as is, leave right. Jesus out of the painting currently, okay. and then depending on what bidding wall we enter... Well, that's and what we're no, doing. No, 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 no. We take photos of both. The only picture available is for the one with Jesus in it today. That will be the painting. But prior to applying Jesus, we will take photos and make prints of that painting without Jesus. Oh, I need to take a picture of it now then. That's what, once you've finished. I didn't know you were finished. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. I'm done. So I, I want to, I really want Jesus up in the clouds. I really do. Like, it's going to look fantastic. But I'll need a phone or something. I can't take a picture of it because I'm broadcasting. I have, I have my phone. Um, my right here. But I want to do it. I want to put Jesus in it. I want him in there. Yeah. So no, he, he will be in there, but we need to take photos and then we could make prints without it. And I believe, based on the conversations, that people will likely not purchase a thing. <laughs> By the print with and without Jesus. All right, it. it's done then. So, okay, let's use my phone. <clears throat> it's done without. The, this is the version yeah. without Jesus, and that, but I think the people, like, if we if we add Jesus af, off camera, they're not going to see. No, how we're it's not done. adding Jesus off camera. We need to take oh, photos okay. of it to make prints without Jesus currently. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, I normally do this from a wall. Right. So. How do I spin your weird little, phone around? That, that thing? Yeah. Okay. You want to do it Sorry, square guys. or not? I take all my photos square. It'll fit better in here. It's too bright. Can you turn the light off? No, the, the ring light. No, I can't. Hang on. I can't do it. I'd have to take it with my phone in the normal spot that it is always at. Um... All right, well, th let's kill the YouTube camera. Guys on YouTube, uh, go over to Facebook. Can you turn just, all you these back on? Try. With I'm, I'm going to. Setting. I'm going to turn off Facebook. No, I just want you to try the different setting that I just put on my phone. The problem is the glare from this spot. This is the best spot for filming. It's the worst spot for photos. Okay. And if I take this, look at all the, the glare up here in the side. It's, it, the, the, the software is going to tell me that it's not a big enough picture. Like it's not a clear enough image. So I'm gonna kill the YouTube camera. Then we're gonna put, we're gonna take the camera. You can, we'll even spin the Facebook camera. You guys can see it. So everybody from YouTube, you took, go over to FaceTube and uh, <laughs> and we're gonna keep broadcasting from there. But I gotta get a picture of this and then we'll finish, we'll put it back up or we'll finish it off. So go over to facebook.com slash paint with Josh and you'll be able to see the rest of, uh, of the video. So until we see you next time, see you soon, right now. I gotta do it. I have to finish it, right? Okay, let's do this. We'll end. We've only got Hold on. Hold seven. On one second. Don't. What's up?
You're ending the Facebook camera? No, I'm ending the YouTube camera. Okay, so hold on one second. Let's Facebook start. is where we have all the people watching. I'm ending the YouTube camera. Okay. So, um, 